Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna once again answer some of your frequently asked questions. Let's get it. Before we get started, please continue to do all the things that help this channel grow. Like this video, comment below, hit the bell notification icon so you get alerts every single time I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get started. I get this question a lot lately and that is, what kind of strap do you use? I've answered this question in other videos before, but I do think it's worth mentioning. Um, I use personally ESO straps. This was a company that came out years ago and I think their straps are amazing. They have this patented contour that allows it to form on your shoulder and it never ever touches your neck. It's an amazing, super comfortable, long lasting strap. Here's the problem though. They just disappeared at one point only to reappear again having been bought out or absorbed by this other company named Black Rapid. And if you go to their website, they are now selling ESO straps, at least one version of them, which is the all black version. Now I did fall in love with the design of the product, but I also really love the fact that they had multiple colors to choose from and I miss that and the fact that they don't have that now is kind of frustrating maybe they don't have it yet who knows we'll see but one of the main reasons why i've stopped recommending them is because since they've now been taken over i can't speak on the quality of their product in fact it no longer even has eso written on the strap it's now the new company black rapid and i know for a fact that i paid about 60 dollars. i think it was 59.99 for these and that is expensive but they now go for 79.99 i don't think i personally feel very comfortable recommending $80 straps, especially when I know that I've paid a lot less for them and probably got a better version of it, at least in my opinion. So I no longer recommend them, but I still have the three that I purchased from them over the years. And I will say they are amazing. I love them. And Honestly, would highly recommend if you can get an original. Now, if you wanna take a chance on the new ones, that's totally up to you. Frequently asked question number two, might have even made it on the Frequently Asked Questions series before, and that is, what kind of camera do you use? No joke, this is probably the most asked question. I notice I get them a lot too during like New Year's when people are making resolutions, I guess. Um, I guess people wanna start YouTube channels or maybe start filming themselves and they maybe appreciate some of the quality that I've gotten here on my channel and they ask me what kind of camera do I use, what kind of lenses. And though it is a question that I do get quite a bit, I don't really get tired of answering it because I've been in that position where I just wish someone would lead me down a very, very clear direction on what I should be purchasing to get good quality content. So to answer your question, I currently use a Sony a6400. The lens that I'm currently using really only use it for this room, which is the Sigma 30 millimeter lens f1.4. I only use it here because it shoots really great in low light and I like to have moody videos and the background's black, but it's also there's also a lot of lights going on and it's just a really great all around lens for that. However, my main lens is actually a Sony 18 to 105 f4.0. It's just a lot more dependable and it's a lot more versatile of a lens. And therefore, if I were shooting something where I didn't know what the conditions would be, I know that that would be the number one lens that I would choose. Now I will say this, it doesn't stop there. There's a lot of other factors when you're filming, especially when you're filming by yourself, lighting, audio, uh, you know, how you set up the camera, the ISO, the f-stop, all of those things matter. And that's not something that I'm going to cover in this video, but I highly recommend that you go down the rabbit hole as YouTube does have an un believable amounts of resources that you can learn from just like I did. And I highly recommend you just go on that YouTube binge to, to learn what will best suit your needs and what you're trying to accomplish. And lastly, this is one of the more frequently asked questions that I've gotten over the last couple of months. Not sure why now more than ever. However, I think it's still a relevant question. And that is what chords are you playing? I've been asked this question many times before. Really, it stems from sort of a classical style thing where I wanted to hold down a note, uh, the root note of a chord, but still have the freedom to be able to play with that chord. So for example, I know this is a G if you bar chord this G right here. But I discovered in listening to that chord that the two prominent notes there that I was hearing were these two notes. And therefore now I can use two fingers. Then I had other fingers free to move around the fretboard. Thank you. 
And I do think that also it takes a little bit of exploration of the guitar neck. Now, I'm not saying go learn music theory or even triads, which ultimately can be an introduction to music theory, but learning the guitar neck, like playing, for example, that very same G chord and just understanding in the different places of the neck where you can accommodate that same chord. So for example, I learned the G could be this, the G could be this, it could be even all the way up here, here, G, G, G. So just learning all of those voicings now opened up the fretboard a little bit to me so that I know by having memorized that or to just have a fundamental knowledge of where those chords can sit, where I can go to in terms of playing a root note and then vibing off of those notes so that I can create a melody on top of the chord that I'm playing. I, I don't wanna come off like I invented this technique. It's just something that I've worked on for a really long time and therefore it comes natural to me. And if you wanna know how to do that, that's my approach to it. I think it's simple. Um, and fun all at the same time. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Guys, I hope this video has helped you. If you have a question that you would like me to answer, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also ask me directly on social media. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Everything is at J Cruz Project. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you haven't done it already, please feel free to leave a comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you get alerts every single time I upload a video. You can also check out some of the links in the description box below. Those are affiliate links and help the channel out every time you click on them. You can also donate to the channel directly by pressing the PayPal link. Thank you so much for watching and until next week.